Roman, I have some breaking news. The all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma online configurator is live. Actually, it's almost live. We have early access to it, but it should be live maybe as of you watching this video. But in this video, we are actually gonna go through it. And what are we gonna do, Andre? Yeah, we're gonna show you the most affordable new Tacoma because everybody wants to know what that is and how it's configured. Also the most popular one, that the one we think, and also the most expensive one. And there's some, I think, shocking details here. Wow, that's gonna be a long video, Andre, yes. but I can't wait. How about the competition? Yeah, I have a couple of competitors queued up here as well to start to compare starting prices. All right, well, let's start with the cheapest new 2024 Tacoma you can buy. So It's this bad boy. Okay. Uh, by the way, so you see this uh, fine print here? Yep. Uh, configuration may differ. Not all images are exactly representative of the truck, right? This is early access, okay? Okay. There's a little message here. So take it with a grain of salt, guys. Yeah, but, but basically it starts with the SR and a two-door um, cab could, option. Can we pick a better color? Uh, yeah, you could. Let's pick a better color. By the way, Roman, uh, this wonderful red uh -huh. will cost you. Oh, Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. All right, let's go white then. <laughs> all cheap trucks are white. <laughs> yeah, that is. There's their work trucks. Okay, it, they all have the four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Right. But for the base truck, by the way, the starting price is thirty-two thousand nine nine five, including destination. Which is pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, thirty-two thousand dollars for a new Tacoma, not bad. You know, once upon a time, obviously that would have been cheaper. But now with trucks going. Into the one hundred thousand dollar range, and I'm looking at you, Cybertruck. Yes, <laughs> this seems very uh, affordable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, old prices are creeping up and up and up as technology increases. Um, but there are a couple of caveats on this base model. First of all, you don't get as much power as some other Tacomas, about two hundred twenty-eight horsepower. You get leaf springs in the back, not coils like on some other Tacomas, and you don't get a lot of towing, about thirty-five hundred pounds of towing. So. Those are the caveats to get the best price. But remember, in the current generation, and I'm not talking about this one, I'm talking about the one that's still out there. Yep. There was a little shorty, two-door. Is that gone now? Uh, the well, little stubby to <laughs> Tacoma. Is that gone? No, uh, this is the stubbiest. Okay. So, um, for example, I could show you here on a TRD pre-runner. Okay. Uh, let me uh, turn this truck around. Oh, but it's more um, expensive. Yeah, no, no, but the stubby version is still around in the base model. Okay. So this is a two-door. These rear doors, these are not doors. This is just a cab. Yep. But inside, Roman, um, as I've shown before in some of our videos, you have really interesting storage solution in the back here. You can unlock it, unlock it. There's some uh, tray in the back, and there's a pegboard if you remove this panel so you can hang hooks. Oh, so there is access to the bed. No. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no mid gate. So how much would a stubby be if it was in a base trim? Would it be less than the other? The, no, no, it would be like that. Okay, yeah, so 32. The, the configuration doesn't matter. Yeah. But you can get the short little stubby truck. Yeah. And also, of course, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive is available. And four-wheel drive costs about $3,200. So add about three grand. Now, I'm guessing at this, Andre, but I think I'm right. I don't think there are going to be very many base trucks out there at the beginning of production. By the way, you have to put in your zip code. Yes. So right now I'm in Colorado. Great. So because we're based here. So some of the color options and some of the options may be Colorado specific. Like you said, they determine what Colorado is getting. So that's what we're showing. All right. So let's build the most, the most popular? popular one. Yeah, because we know what the cheapest one is. So oh, before we go there, yes. uh, how about we talked about base pricing. Yep. How about we compare really quick to the competition? Um, this is the uh, Colorado. Yep. This is the truck I own, actually. Yep. Uh, but the base price on the Colorado is a little bit lower. It's about 30695 but that doesn't include cruise control. <laughs> you went there, not me, Andre. I did. I was really trying to not to go there. <laughs> At the beginning of this video, I was like, I will not mention cruise control, even if it pops up on the screen. So you went there. I did. <laughs> Uh, the base crew cab Ranger for 2024, because there's no short bed uh, Ranger anymore, is 34,160. When are they actually building their Ranger? It seems like they, they should have had it out like three months ago. It, it was delayed by the strike. Yes. So Q1, uh, Q1 of 2024, the Ranger will have our hands on the Ranger. And the other problem is it's built on the same line and with the same chassis as the Bronco. And you know what's happening with the Bronco. It's red hot. So you can only... They're competing they're against competing each other. They're competing against each other, yeah. Yes. And so, you know, you're barely keeping up with Bronco demand, and now you got to add the Ranger to it. 
Now, if you want a little bit more value, uh -huh. uh, the new uh, Frontier two-wheel drive short cap starts at 31425 and you know, Andre, we're doing this here, but you know, at Toyota, there's a whole team of people who do nothing but actually compare the probably hundreds of people with the competition to see exactly where they're going to price their vehicle at. Yes, and finally, Jeep, uh, dude, that's Jeep be the most expensive uh, car. starts at yeah. forty-one thousand five fifteen. Yes. So um, but it is a convertible, Andre. Yep. See, you can see it right there. A black roof comes down, doors come off, and it's open air. Yes. Yes. So let's build the most popular, we think, Tacoma, which probably will be the SR5, which is kind of in the meat of their segment. It's actually the second trim here. Okay, so $36,000. And how do we want to build this out? Do we want to build this out the way we would do it? Um, I think the most popular would be the four-door, okay. right? They call it double cab yes. or crew cab in, yep. my, in my speak, uh, with a five-foot bed. Yeah. You could also get it with a slightly longer six-foot bed, but I think the five-foot bed will be the most popular. Now, uh, you have another decision, of course, rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive has to be. Has to be. It's about $3,200. 278 horsepower? Yep. So 278 horsepower now and 317 pound-feet of torque. By the way, now that you brought it up, Andre, okay, what? Uh, with Toyota, every Tacoma comes with cruise control because it's part of their... TSS 3.0. Yeah. So basically... They call it Toyota like, Safety Sense. Like blind spot monitoring. Uh, all these basic safety features and the Japanese have been doing this along with the Koreans it just seems like the domestics seem to charge you for basic safety things and uh, you know I, I personally think that's wrong I love the fact that the Japanese are including these things you, you yeah know, we put the most important things in our lives in our trucks and that's our family and friends so let's make it as safe as possible and then um, color color once again red costs you extra blue does not all right, let's go so with blue. So the blue, um, blue crush it's called, okay. does not cost you any extra. Let's go with blue crush. That's and then packages, it. this is where it gets more complicated, and I wish Toyota would simplify this, but there is up to 10 packages. And it can be anything from deck rails and cleats in the bed to heated seats, um, and on and on and on, including, for example, something like this, which includes an uh, upgraded stereo, JBL, premium, uh, with a little flex speaker that pops up. Uh, yeah, I, I know what I want. What? I want a brake controller. Does it's right. It's right here. Okay. So that, that integrated you, trailer brake controller. So you have to get the cold weather SR5 upgrade <laughs> package to get a brake controller. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm saying something like this. I think it might be a little bit less expensive. Let me. So the brake controller is part of the, these packages. But why don't they make it separate, Roman? What if I want a tow? See, it's not in here. All right, well, let's, let's, before we get too deep into the brake controller. Right here. It starts at about three grand extra. All right, let's, let's, let's get the, let's get the, what do you have? We got the heated seats. I want that. I think that's really good. And then which of these upgrade packages do we want? None of them. Yeah, no, you want to have an, you need okay. a brake controller, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. You need a brake controller. So okay, the so may, yeah, the cheapest one here. Okay, all right, fair. So I think that's probably going to be um your lowest one let me make sure my colors sometimes when you choose a color not every package is available okay so that's another little caveat right that you have to be mindful of let me try this okay let me look at the summary how about yep it it, it allowed it how about accessories let me see the accessories are there any accessories you want to I, add? I, i'll blow your mind in a second okay. i'll right. blow your mind in a second but without accessories it's about 45 so about the cost of an average new car right now give yes. or take yeah okay it's the most popular mid-size truck yeah okay so so about 45k and when i say average new car i mean average new vehicle in america it's, that's, I, that's around forty-five thousand now ish okay now roman i'm yep. gonna blow your mind right, are you blow ready? my mind i'm ready okay so let's configure a TRD off-road because this is the one actually worth considering we want to purchase for a long term. Yeah, all right. Starts at 41.8. Okay, not too bad. Now we go to the next step. Five-foot bed yes. makes the wheelbase shorter, mm -hmm. makes it more affordable, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the one we're going with. Uh, you could choose this uh, for about, I believe it costs about $1,000 to get a longer bed, but... I think you can only get it like if you think about camping. Yeah. Well, at that point, you might as well get a half ton. I know. Um, now, four wheel drive, of course, yep. but not a manual. No, we want the automatic. Right, because uh, Toyota said that about 6% of their trucks will be manuals, mm -hmm. but they're not building them first. 
Yeah, we want to get our or first. at least first. So we are we are we are eager to jump on that Tacoma train. Yes. So we don't want to be in the caboose. We now, want to be in the engine. How about blue? Sure. We're Blue's thinking fine. about blue. Yeah, anything that pops. Oh, actually, go orange. I love that orange. Orange. Yeah, let's let's look at the orange. Orange crush, right? Yes. That's a great color. Let's go. No, 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 solar octane. I'm solar sorry. Octane. Solar I think octane. different manufacturers call them different. We did the Raptor R orange. So yes. We'll do another orange truck. We won't <laughs> do it for us for real because we don't want to get the same truck colors. Uh, over and over again. Over and over. But I like it. I would get it. So now, Roman, mm -hmm. 24 different packages. I want heated seats. Please, Andre. Please, heated seats in Colorado. <laughs> How about mud guards? Sure. Because the truck width is now wider, so it could spray some Yeah, the range throws up a lot of mud. All right. We need mud guards. Okay. Now, Ooh, I'm going to... Stabilize or disconnect? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I tried it off-road already, yeah. and it's quite good. I get it. So we got to have that. Okay. Um, and basically what it does for off-road purposes, it disconnects the front stabilizer bar so you have more articulation. What's the off-road upgrade package? What does that get you? Um, I'm thankful you asked because it gets you eight power adjustable, eight way adjustable seats, yep. leather trimmed, yep. heated steering wheel, yep. which is nice, uh, wireless charging, of course, fancy stereo, and integrated brake controller. Get it. Let's get it. Getting it done. Now, now, for reals, Andre, for reals, we're trying to get one. We don't have these options because we're... Not a lot of options. We're trying to get whichever one comes... First. First. So, we, you know, if and when we finally do get ours, a lot of this, this is this is our dream truck. If, if we lived in a perfect world and we could order this and get it in the next month, then we would. But that's not how it works. All right. So, where are we at in price? Almost 50 k uh, we're, we're now almost approaching 50 <sighs> But there's more. There's more. Gosh, there's a lot of packages. <sighs> so premium starts pack package includes a lot of stuff we already discussed. Yeah, plus. But starts at eighty eight hundred dollars. Um, so this includes uh, also the larger screen, the fourteen inch uh, multimedia display, multi terrain monitor, which is the additional camera systems, um, AC inverter, so you can power uh, tools and stuff like that. But uh, it's pricey, I don't think Roman. We, I don't think we need that, Andre. It's pricey. It's, for us, it's not going to be a work truck. I don't. I can live without this bigger screen. Yeah, I don't need that. How about accessories? Can we accessorize it? Yeah, let's accessorize it. There are now seventy-eight accessories. Oh, we, need, we need the all-weather floor, man. Yes, gotta have that. Gotta have that for sure. Um, I also love bed extenders. You know, if you're carrying something uh, I, large. I don't love bed extenders because okay. if you want to get like a bike or motorcycle in there. Uh, you They're gotta, in the you, way. You gotta remove them, get the motorcycle in there, put it back. I mean, I, I don't love them. And then okay. you, I don't know what to do with them. What if I'm... David comes over and he wants to carry his ladder? I guess he'll bring his own truck. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, I think that step is important. Rock rails, there's different kinds. Okay. So there's body side. Those are useless. Cut and molding. You need, uh, you need those. You need something more sturdy. Yeah. You need those. Um, and also the TRD Pro and the hybrids are not available yet. So the reason why you didn't see the hybrids is because they're coming in April. And I think you need a step too. But it's a small truck, dude. Uh, oh, no, oh. it used to be a small truck. <laughs> now it's more like a mid-size, full-size truck from two generations ago. Okay, you know how you get out of the door and your foot hits it and you put like scuff marks? Yeah. They have protectors now. That's okay. I can live without a 135 I, I, for protector. You, no, you want I it? I want it. Okay, all right, Because my foot always hits it. All right, go get it. Uh, do you care about chrome exhaust? Sure. Yeah, let's get a chrome exhaust. Dark chrome or chrome? I'd go dark. I think okay. it's cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, dash cam. I think that's pretty useful, actually. Sure. sure. For, if you witness an accident or something else. Uh, protective film for the paint on uh, the front. You can always get that done. Later? Yeah. Uh, roof rack? No. Uh, so they're partnered with several companies like ARB and Dometic yep. and some others. Um, hitch, we have many hitches. We, we use Gen we have Y. Plenty of hitches. Um, compressors. We have all that. We have all that we stuff. We have all that. Yep. But see, it's available. Yeah. Even recovery kits. We actually have the ARB. <laughs> we already have that. How about our um, electric cooler? Um, oh, there's one next door. <laughs> you don't want it? No. We, it's fifteen hundred dollars. We have one. We have okay. two of them actually. Okay. Uh, that's about it. Oh, okay. also bags. All right, so we're at the uh, what about puppy cover? Doggy, doggy for seat. For Blaze, sure, get a doggy okay. seat. Okay. All right, so let's 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 call that done, Andre. Fifty-two. If that's not horrible. It's fifty-two. Once upon a time, that would have been you know ten thousand less, but we're not living those pre-COVID days anymore. I, are you ready for the priciest one? 
Yes, let's go for the most expensive the, one. They call it limited, which is kind of like a Denali, like a Canyon Denali. So let's take be. a guess. I'm going to take a guess because you've probably done this a hundred times. <laughs> I have not. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say you can get it up to, with all the bells and whistles, $75,000. No, I'll take you way too high. Really? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's prove you, me wrong. Okay. So it only comes with a five foot bed. Okay. This is the luxury truck we're talking about. Oh. Yeah, but is that, how much, can you, eh, go back, would you? I'm betting with a luxury truck, you can't do a lot of the expensive options because it has full-time four-wheel drive, right? Well, it's kind of one way. You can configure it one okay, way, but right, you, can add, you can add uh, some accessories to I'm it. I'm just saying, I wonder if you can accessorize a TRD off-road beyond what the... Almost. Almost. All right, well, let's but go they're with, about the same. Okay, let's go with the They're about truck. the same. Right. They're about the same. So, so 50,000. Double cab, five-foot right. bed. Uh, now, uh, of course, um, automatic yep. um, transmission. Yep. You don't have any options here. Colors. There's a couple of fancier colors. Celestial, you pick silver. One that costs more. Red is extra. Okay. Uh, really fancy seats. Um, I, I've tried them. Okay. They're almost like, I would call them almost approaching Lexus quality. Okay. Mudguards, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's only one package? <laughs> That's what I mean. There's not going to be a lot of <laughs> but it comes, But it comes with power steps and sliding rear glass and really comfortable seats and all the tech. All right. Here's a view of, of the technology. So you can see it's got like wooden inlay here, big screen, um, tr you know, four-wheel drive system controller and everything Dude, that like that. that is fancy. That looks like the inside of a Lexus. Almost. It's approaching. It's yeah. approaching Lexus territory. And then accessories. So once again, if you do some of the most, but see, give, like give, weather floor mats. Give me the most expensive. Give me the bed extender. Let's add that. I can't see what other expensive ones are there. Give me this that one. That step is yeah. already there. Okay. Um, console yeah. safe, because yeah. you have safe. expensive things in your exactly. truck, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, scuff plate, of course. Camera mount. We love those. Okay, get the camera mount, get the scuff plate. I, I want my emblems um, dark. Okay, make your emblems dark. Okay. Emergency kit, well, it's not very expensive. Additional oh. speaker, yes. Yeah, sure. It pops out of your dash. Paint protection, of course. Yes, of course, paint protection. Let me click this. And then roof rack, give me the roof rack. I oh, yeah, it. because I want to tie down, you yeah. know, certain items on my roof. Of course, give me the roof rack. Spray and bed liner. Yes, because um, it is a, a composite, but it's slippery. So you need so, it, yeah. So you need this. Yeah, of course you do. Um, Dark letters in the back, sure, of course. Not? Hitch, yeah, black, whatever. TRD, TRD, oh, TRD, yes. Black wheels. Give me the black wheels. Let's make it midnight edition. Okay. And Screens for your kids. Well, they already have tablets. Yeah. Uh, let's forget about all this stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Just really want? quick. I, I, I've practiced this. Okay. Um, straps right. for recovery. Sure. Because you're going to the mall, right? Okay. Uh, Get the ARB portable compressor then if you're going to do that. Okay. That's, by the way, that's about as much as it would cost on Amazon. I get the Airbnb twin. Oh, twin. Yeah, get, the you, twin. You don't want to wait, Andre. <laughs> nothing worse than waiting. You For know, tires you, to you, fill up. Yeah, you want this one to dash cam. The biggest uh, cooler. Oh, I'll get the biggest cooler. Right? It's powered, yeah. too. Now we're, and uh, dash cam. Dash cam. Okay. See, now we're getting close to that number I was talking about. Uh, solar, because you need to power your fridge, <laughs> sure, right? Sure. So solar is there. Okay. Then uh, just, we're almost done. Just How about this? Whatever that is. It's 900 bucks. Get it. Lithium battery associated. Sure. Okay. Yeah. How about a bag of good first aid goodies? Sure, get that. They because don't sell those at Costco for like <laughs> 50 bucks. Puppy, we already have okay. that. Okay. Little cargo thing, no thanks. How about a day venture bag? Sure. It's a new term, I've, I've never heard day venture. How about a wheeled cooler? <laughs> now we're getting silly, Andre, let's just figure out. Okay, now. Yeah. Six, what? 67,000. I bet you paid them more in the Pelican cases. <laughs> But let, let's subtract a lot of those accessories we added. You're probably about 60K, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're, obviously we're having fun here, guys. But, you're but 60K is currently the most expensive. And home. and here's the tricky part, okay? Where is the TRD Pro and where is the Uber they're not, Trail? <laughs> right, the Trail, the trail Hunters. Hunter, yeah. Where is that uh, They're not here yet because they're only going to be hybridized. And we don't have the hybrid powertrain in this configuration. So how much, how much more do you think the hybrid, like TRD Pro or Trail Hunter... I bet you, you can add, I think, 5 to 10K easily like that. I, I think so because, look, um, 
depending on options, the hybrid Tundra is way more expensive than the base Tundra. So, I mean, it's not exactly apples to apples, but... $7,000 more. Uh, yes. So we could be looking at a $70,000 Tacoma TRD Pro with hybrid system. So that was fun. That's about as much fun as, you know, you can a have. A configurator could have. <laughs> uh, uh, and, you know, if you guys want to go configure your dream Tacoma, any minute now, maybe as you're watching this, it'll be live on Toyota's website. Uh, I can't wait to get ours, Andre. I am so super, super excited. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know what we're getting uh, because we don't know. It's a little bit of a surprise. It's a little bit of a surprise. I think we're going to have to fly down to Texas like we did with the Tundra yeah. and get it, which is fine because we'll have a road trip Yeah. Uh, to see what it's like on a long road trip. But I'm so excited. They've changed the seating position. Obviously, they've gone from a six-cylinder to a four-cylinder turbo. You know, it's a completely new truck. Uh, and uh, I... I, the only thing I would say that I think is important is, you know, most people tell you never get the first model of anything, right? And in the past with the Tundra, there were other sure. YouTubers out there. I'm talking to you, Tim, where, you know, they had issues. Yes. Uh, but, you know, that's, but that's what we do. That's what we do, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's part of what we do so that you don't have to. <laughs> exactly, because we want to show it to you first so you can make your own decision, right, based on the stuff you're But knowing Toyota, maybe it'll be, you know... Perfect out of the box. You know, my first impression, I already drove one uh, in California. You drove the least expensive. Yes. Com. Yeah. My first impression is really positive. Yeah. So I'm already excited. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, go configure yours. Uh, have some fun with it. Uh, and let us know which one you would choose. Uh, and as always, where should they go for all the latest and greatest coverage from TFL, Andre? OldTFL.com for the latest news. OldTFL.com. See you next time. Ciao.